Hello everybody. In this video I want to discuss with you how I actually visualize this concept of a confidence interval. And I know that this is a concept that a lot of people find quite challenging. So how can we sort of imagine this confidence interval? Okay, so here I've got a target and I can shoot at this target, uh, arrows, bullets or, or darts or something like that. And let's assume I shoot, uh, let's say five times at this target. And here are my sort of impact. So here I got a hit three, four, and let's say I hit here. So something like that. So this is where I hit. And uh, it's sort of in a reasonably close area. And actually we call this the precision. The precision is defined as how close actually the impact holes would be together. Now, what is a confidence interval? This confidence interval is actually a sort of an area where I say, if I shoot loads and loads and loads of times, 100 times, for example, then the confidence interval marks the area where 95% of my hits are located. Now, I've got only five times here, so I don't want to shoot 100 times. So I just simply try to do a calculation and we will come to how we do this calculation. I try to calculate the area and I denote this here with a slightly different color. Let's go for this color here. I denote this with this color here, with this circle. And I say, I believe that Usually, when I shoot at this target, most of my shots will be in this area indicated by this red circle. So most of the times, the impact will be there. And I can define this red circle just simply by looking at where my sample impacts located. And of course, I can say, right, I can make this confidence interval larger or smaller. So for example, if I say I want to be pretty sure that 95% of my shots are in this, in this area, then I've got a 95% confidence interval. I can say, Let's look at a different one. Let's go for, let's say, this color. I say, okay, I want to be fairly sure that only 50% of the shots are in that area. Now think about it. What does that mean for the circle? If I say 50% of my shots should be in there, is the circle larger or smaller than the red one? Well, if I say only 50%, then it's probably smaller than this 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 fifty percent confidence interval will be a smaller area because I say yeah okay uh, you know fifty percent of my hits might be within the green circle but I don't mind too much if the other fifty percent are outside so that would be a fifty percent confidence interval or 50% area. Well, what happens if I want it to be much larger? Let's uh, go for a different color here. So let's go for the blue one. If I say I want to know that, or I want to be confident that 99% of my shots, when I do that lots of times, are inside the confidence circle, so that would be a much larger circle. That would be probably like that. So that's my 99% confidence.
confidence circle. So I'm 99% sure or confident, I'm 99% certain, if you like, that when I shoot lots of times, that 99% of my hits will be within this blue circle here. And I can define these confidence intervals or confidence areas just simply by looking at the at the samples, at the bullet points, at the bullet holes that I've got here, and I can figure then out uh, how big I have to draw this confidence interval um, in order to get the number of shots into this area. So that is in principle, the confidence interval, I can set it to whatever I like, but very often we will find that the 95% confidence interval, that is what is a reasonable uh, confidence area or interval. It means this 95% confidence interval, and uh, I think this was this red one, this 95% confidence interval will contain 95% of the shots that I fire at the, the target, but I also accept that 5% will be outside. So there might be the, the odd shot uh, that is then located, uh, let's say, outside, there might be somewhere here. So that would be outside, but that's all right, because I only want 95% of the shots within the red circle. So I hope this makes sense, and thank you very much for watching.